Hi, it's Steph. Welcome back to my garden. This morning, I'm going to plant a drift of sea thrift. It's right here, those pretty little purplish pink pom-poms, and I'm going to show you exactly where we're going to put them. This is the area where I plan on putting the sea thrift. So this is right at the top of my driveway. We have these two walls, and see I have the phlox, which is still looking lovely. Oh, a little bee buzzing by me. That's fun. Um, and so the daffodil foliage we can't cut back yet until it starts to die back otherwise it won't provide enough energy to our bulbs for a good bloom show next year. So I have to leave those intact for a little longer but my plan is to in front of the daffodils kind of insert the armeria or the sea thrift so that there will be a bloom there once that foliage gets cut back. So this plant is called armeria and also known as sea thrift and I had one of these growing in a container last year and I was so surprised at how long they bloom. So when I saw them at the store this year I knew that I wanted to incorporate them somewhere in my garden because of the long bloom time. They're also a very hardy perennial. They can take some dry infertile areas and so my plan is to put them up by my driveway walls because that spot um, I have daffodils in the spring and I have the uh, ground cover phlox that will come out but once I cut back the daffodil foliage in another few weeks I won't have anything else in there unless I plant annuals and so while I always prefer to incorporate perennials because you make the investment once and they keep coming back um, I had been last year you know I dotted some sunflowers in there but this year when I saw these at the garden center they were at Lowe's um, and they had enough because they had just gotten a shipment I decided to buy two flats of them so that I can work on that area um, because I need a lot because it's kind of a long stretch and so um, yeah these are supposed to be perennial the foliage um, I think it will be similar to what an ornamental grass is where the foliage might stay throughout the winter but it will get tattered and you probably have to shear it back in the spring so that the new foliage will emerge um, but because this likes dry infertile soil and from what I've read it does not do as well in uh, soil that you would fortify with say um, compost or fertilizers I'm going to just try to plant this into the native soil and if I need extra soil to kind of finish planting it in I'm going to add just a little bit of regular garden soil so um, yeah I'm excited to incorporate these into my garden and um, I love the way that they look they are a very whimsical flower um, these little pom-poms on this wiry stem I just think they're really sweet and um, so this particular one is by Monrovia and it's called Sweet Dreams Thrift. It's this lovely like lavender pink. Yeah, so let me go get them all mapped out and ready to go. So I've placed the thrift and I bought just enough. I ended up getting 16 containers and that was just perfect for my two walls. These were $5.48 each, in case anyone is curious. This is about a four inch container. Here's the name of the tag of the plant and the tag in case anyone is curious. And I'm gonna plant the first one right here. I've dug up the soil. This is pretty basic, just native soil. I'm not gonna amend it at all. I just dug the hole with my tool and I'm just gonna plop them in the ground. Make sure you loosen up the roots. See, it was starting to get root bound. You can always tell because the roots get really spirally. And so you want to certainly loosen that up before you plant it. Just tease them. So just remember that this foliage is not going to be here in a couple of weeks. So right now it is, but then once it's gone, this will fill out the space. I just want to ride in the driveway. Home. Okay, that's fine.
here's another type of sea thrift. This one is called Splendens Sea Pink. And this one is a little bit different than the variety that I had purchased from Monrovia. This type here, the foliage is a little more grass-like and finer. And the blooms are a little taller and spindlier where the one from the Sweet Dreams Armeria that I that I purchased here at Lowe's from Monrovia, they were, the blooms were more of a ball shape and the stems were shorter, but also a little thicker. And the foliage was a little strappier, a little broader leaf versus this grass-like texture. So they were slightly different. I preferred the ones from Monrovia, but these are nice too if you wanted something with a little bit more height. This is also a brighter shade of pink. And I believe that Sea Thrift also comes in colors like white. So just a really nice perennial that, um, you know, I wasn't aware of until about last year. I also found some Thrift or Armeria at Walmart. And they have it in this variety called Daydream. It has similar foliage to the Monrovia, where it's a thicker, broader leaf. And the stems seem a little bit sturdier, but it's also a pretty tall variety. And the color on these is also a nice shade of pink. These are 848 and a pretty good sized container. Well, I finished planting the Drift of Thrift. I think it turned out really well and I'm excited to watch them fill out and grow. Thanks for hanging out today. I'll catch you on the next one.